welcome to yet another episode of Quarantine Kitchen. Triple K. Here we are. I want to say, like, my inclination is to say, like, week 325, but I know it's not been that long, but it definitely feels like it's been that long. It's been a while, and I know it's going to be this way for a while. Uh, despite all not all, many, despite many cities opening back up, possibly mistakenly, here I am in my quarantine kitchen, making food, drinking booze, doing what I do. Well, I've been thinking about ramping things up, guys. We're just gonna make food that I like to make. We're not, we're not even gonna make it, like before it was like things that I already had in my kitchen and was already drinking and decided I was gonna video it. Today we're going for it. We're gonna make something fun. Something exciting. Something that sounds probably gross, but is actually delicious. So today we are making uh, mini, uh, they're called, I guess, they're just, they're like little muffins, pies. They're pies made in a muffin tin that have a cheddar apple onion mixture inside them. It is delightful. It's in my, I would say, potentially top five things that I know how to make. That is, that is very Kate, and it's it's freaking delicious. So, we're gonna get into it. So I already have some butter over here melting at a medium temperature. It was actually at a high temperature, and I forgot that I needed a medium temperature because we are going to caramelize some of the thinly sliced onions and apples. I don't want them to burn or get brown. I just want them to caramelize slowly. So I got my butter here. Got thinly sliced onion, thinly sliced apple. They gotta go in that pan and just hang out there for like 20 minutes. Until they get super easy for soft. And it's gonna be freaking great. There, okay, they're in the pan. 20 minutes. I guess this is the part where I'm supposed to cut scenes. But instead, I'm going to tell you what I did today. So today, you guys, I was doing some self care which for me means I was drinking in the bathtub instead of drinking on the couch. It was nice though, but I got really sweaty and had to like dry out. I don't know. Bath was good. Wine was good. We're probably gonna cut parts of this too. But yep, yeah, now we just wait for everything to get soft. pour in like about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I don't measure salt because I love salt. If there's a little extra, I'm gonna be okay. Y'all should probably measure your salt though. Gonna stir this up a little bit, get that salt moving around. Get some of that butter infused. So part of the caramelization process involves just like constantly stirring. Right now we don't need to do that because it's not really browning. It's not, it just needs to cook for a little bit. But in a second, once it starts getting hot in her, hot in here? I don't know, hot in her, hot in her. We're going to really just constantly have to stir the onions and apples. But in the meantime, we're gonna get out our muffin tin, which I did not get out beforehand. <laughs> like an idiot. BRB. Muffin pan. So you're supposed to use Pam technically, well typically you should use Pam because it's like the easiest way to like butter any kind of pan. But as it turns out, I've been out of Pam for a while now. So we're gonna hand butter all the individual muffin tins. Don't run out of Pam. 
here we are with our butter. We're just gonna do our best. Quarantine style. You know, I'm sure there are probably easier ways to do this, but I don't know about them. Uh, share your knowledge in the comments, please. Or mail me some pants. I think I have sufficiently buttered this muffin tin. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our pie dough. So, like a heathen, I did not make my own pie dough. Pie dough is hard, takes a lot of time, and there's not a lot of yield, I guess. So here I have this store-bought, probably Pillsbury cup of pie dough. So I'm gonna roll it out. to measure out my flour because I'm an idiot. All right, so here we have our pie dough. We're gonna just roll it out a little thinner. Uh, I do have a rolling pin, but my number one boo for rolling out doughs of any kind is this wine bottle. I just love it. It's perfect for rolling out perfect for rolling out anything, okay? So I, here I have my wine bottle. Pretend this is out of character and you'd never expect that I would use a wine bottle as a tool because I am not a wine grunge heathen. I don't know. That is all. There. Here, we rolled out some pie dough. And so you need to cut out a four inch circles as well as two and a half inch circles. So I whipped out my handy dandy ruler and started measuring cups in my house because I don't have one of those like pastry cutters that has different size circles because I am an animal. I just don't have it. So <clears throat> here today we have this plastic cup to serve as our four inch circle cutter. So we're just going to do that. We're going to cut some four inch circles. Oh, why is that? It's fine. It's fine. Now I cut out some four inch circles. Cool thing about not making your own pie dough is that it's always consistent and smooth because factories have the abilities that humans do not. And that is to make the same thing over and over again perfectly every single time. And it's kind of insulting, but I've kind of accepted my fate as being a cog in the machine of, I guess not a cog in the machine, wouldn't that be the opposite? Like, it's not a, I'm not a cog in the machine is what I'm telling you. I am useless. This is getting dramatic. This is why we shouldn't have wine in the bathtub. And I'll tell you why. Because when you're in the bathtub, you can't feel as much gravity, which means you don't know how much wine you drink. That is my quarantine pro tip of the day. I've taken the leftover dough from the big circles that I made, the forage circles as it were, and I'm rolling it back out.
sometimes this pie dough is so perfect it hurts my feelings. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mason jar as my two and a half inch diameter circle and I'm going to cut out little circles. Thing we're going to do is we are going to put the four inch circles into your the bottom of your muffin tin and just kind of make them take the shape of uh, the muffin tin because that is the bottom of our pie crust. There we go. And if you haven't gathered, the two and a half inch little circles that we cut out are the tops of our pie which we are going to remember to poke little tiny steamy holes in at the top before we put them in the oven because I always forget and then they like implode. They're still delicious, but it's less fancy when they implode. So make sure you poke your holes in the top. And I'm telling you that now because it's very likely that I will forget in the next few weeks. Getting a lot of bubbles in the bottom of my crust that I'm trying to eradicate. There we go. <sighs> the apples and onions are starting to smell so good. If you think like your little crust circle isn't flat enough, go ahead and just give her a little little flattener, a little heel of the hand, as it were. Tell it what's what. This pie crust ain't the lot to you, okay? Making some pie. Time it's helpful if you put flour on your counter before you roll out your pie dough so that you can remove the pie dough from your counter. Just a light dusting. Oh, poop. I accidentally put my muffin just on top of this little pie top. It's okay though. We're gonna make it through, little buddy. Quarantine has given me the ability to be able to just relate to anyone or anything. Like I've become one of those people when you're out like just walking around because it's all we can do right now. I guess walking around my neighborhood with my dog because I guess she has to walk around or something. But when I'm out there I like smile like do that like awkward neighbor smile like hey, hey I do see you. Whereas before that may have not been the case. Like, they didn't even get an awkward neighbor smile. Now we're, we're throwing in a, how's it going? How you doing? And such. So, I've really been increasing my neighborliness and just general 
social ability with random strangers because, you know, I don't know, humanity, man. We're in a dark place. People could use a smile. Yeah. Back to whole cutting. Now that we've gotten all philosophical. Reminder, stir your onions and apples every once in a while at least until they really start cooking down so that they don't accidentally just burn on the bottom. We want to get some good caramelization going here, people. Yeah. So as we can see here, I use my dear friend, the fork. We're best friends. Sometimes I cuddle with it. That's not true. I don't. It's... It's cute though, right? Like, look at that fork. Anyways, so I did poke the holes already and some of, it got vindictive at times. There's some extra stab holes in some of these from my previous failings. There was some, some spite. Some of them are even misshapen just to, you know, mock. Cause sometimes it be like that and these are quarantine times, yo. If you gotta stab the pilots, you gotta stab the pilots. So, our onions and apples have hit like a really silky, soft texture. I think it's time to throw some seasoning in there. So here in this tiny bowl, I have some paprika and some cayenne that I'm gonna throw in there. And we're just gonna let that kind of, let the, what, I think it's like Guy Fieri or Maybe like Tom Colicchio, where they're like, we're gonna let the flavors get acquainted. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let the flavors get acquainted and become best friends and let those seasonings mix in. So I did mention that there's some cayenne in there, but it's like an eighth of a teaspoon. It's not a lot. It's just to give it a little something, something to get it going. You know, a little, a little zest. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. It's gonna be so good. So we let those get acquainted for like a minute. And I just stir them together forever and ever. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, now that the flavors have gotten acquainted, we're gonna throw oh, like two tablespoons of flour in. As always, uh, the recipe is gonna be in the comment, in the description. Part of the comments, whatever. We're gonna try and incorporate some of that flour in there and get it coated in all the ingredients. Then, after we've done that, we're going to add in some, this is a chicken broth and white wine mixture. Did you hear that like beautiful deglazing sound? It just like sizzled up. Like the apples and onions just like separated from the pan. I have to let those ingredients get acquainted, get to know one another, and let that wine and uh, chicken broth cook down. It looks so good. Like it's getting like a nice thick like gravy about it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so ready. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen when we, okay, do you know what's gonna happen? Spoiler alert, when we add the cheese, it's gonna be freaking delightful. After it became really thick, nice and quick here, so we're just gonna go ahead and add some shredded white cheddar. I did shred this myself because I am a pretentious cheese person, um, and I like freshly shredded cheddar and until you have your very own. It's life changing, man. That fresh cheddar. So I'm gonna put a bunch of cheese in there. About two ounces. I obviously have more for personal use. I'm just gonna stir that in until it's fully incorporated. And because it's looking a little dry, I'm just gonna add in a splash more of wine because everyone can use Ooh, 
Yeah, there we go. It's making it a lot more fluid now. Alright, and then I'm going to take it off the burner and let it cool before I add it into the muffin tin. My sauce is nice and thick. It's gonna be freaking delightful in these pies. So I'm gonna start just dolloping some filling into the little tin. So as you can see, my technique is technique. <laughs> technique, my technique is kind of lagging. We're just, we're just making it happen. It'll be fine. We're just filling these pies. It's gonna be great. Probably. So I thought the big spoon would help, but as it turns out, that was a mistake. So we're gonna revert to our good friend of the dinner spoon. It's gonna be a great time. Making pies. Ooh, there's a lot. Might as well just we'll use the big spoon. Okay. There we go. It's in there. so good. That filling is incredible. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the little pie tops on. We're just going to kind of press it out, make it a fully connected little pie. Now that the pies are covered, I'm just going to coat them with a little bit of egg wash. Just a, a smidge. I don't really need the heavy coating. Just a little bit. Just to kind of get it to brown up a bit in the oven. that's basically it it's more time consuming than it is labor intensive just because you have to wait on those onions now we have to wait on these after we put them in the oven for about 25 minutes i'll uh, see you on the other side when they're done and i'm shoveling them into my face guys welcome back guys I know I've been doing some close-ups. I'm kind of uncomfortable. Like I need longer arms. But anyways, so I finished uh, the pies. They're ready for consumption. So we are just gonna have me hold it up close to my face. Okay, first I guess we should probably show you the pies. Look at it. It's just like a little mini pie. That is just one example of many. Look at that mini pie. I'm really excited. It's going to be so freaking delicious. So here we go. Just going to cut into the pie. Oh my god. Look at that like crispy crust. Yep. Oh my god. Okay, it was a perfect bite and then I ruined it with my knife work. Billy, no one asked you anyways. Look at that. You can see like some of that apple in there, some of that onion. Mmm. That is going to be a perfect bite right there. Like a really huge bite. Alright, here it goes. Mm. 
mom. So, um, the fire was so hot. Stole a piece of my pie and then dropped some of it on the floor and then ate it. Like a heathen. I'm sick. He has other qualities. I'm going to find out what they are. Anywho, so this is it, guys. This was the end of the episode. I ate my pie. It was delicious. stole a piece of my pie and then dropped some of it on the floor and then ate it. Like a heathen. I'm sick. He has other qualities. I'm going to find out what they are. Anywho, so this is it guys. This was the end of the episode. I ate my pie. It was delicious. As always, stay quarantined. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash ya hands and like and subscribe or whatever. What is it the most interesting man in the world said? Like and subscribe? Stay shit. Billy had a thought. It didn't happen. Stay Bye something. guys. Stay something, my friends. Charlie. Oh hi. Oh hi, what are you doing? No, she's like, please put me down. But like also a Charlie cheddar. Do apple, you want a pie? Onion pies. Do you want a pie? Oh, look at those pies, Charlie. Charlie, look at that pie. Pies. Look at my arm is only so long. <laughs> she's not interested. She just wants down. Yeah, she needs to be free.